and can never have sight sound taste leave in mind a journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are that of imagination there's a signpost up ahead next stop in Jake Steve's I'm Jake Steep, and today I'm going to show you how to identify a first edition, first print of Stephen King's Just After Sunset. But first, let me say, GO CARDINALS! The first thing you'll notice is the dust jacket, which has black background and orange lettering, which says Stephen King, Just After Sunset, and in between, in between the author and the title, in white stories. You also notice that it's a holographic dust jacket, which means there is something applied to it which allows it to warp the light. And that gives it the rainbow effect on the front and um, the blurred effect. Um, on the spine, you'll see that it's orange with black lettering. It says Stephen King, uh, just after sunset with uh, the Scribner logo, publisher logo. And on the back, it's inverse from the front, orange background, black lettering, um, everything the same. Stephen King, just after sunset, and white stories. In the bottom right corner, you'll see the barcode with the ISBN 13 of 978-1-4165-8408-7 ISB 10 doesn't really matter uh, because 13 and 10 is basically the same, they mean the same book and this 5 digit code right here which I'll have to explain in another video is 52800 the dust jacket code is 1108 and the US price is $28, Canadian price is $32 the inside flaps of the dust jacket are orange with black lettering and you'll see the US Canadian price in the upper right hand corner and this right here is basically a little blurb Stephen King's books usually don't have a blurb but uh, this one does And on the back flap we have a photo of King a little bio about him some links to the publisher's site um, and right here you should see Jacket designed by Rex Bonamelli, author of photography by Amy, Amy Gipp, printed in the U.S., of course, and copyrighted in 2008 by Simon & Schuster, distributed by Simon & Schuster as well. Um, if none of these apply, then it's not a first edition dust jacket, but it could be a first edition book. Sometimes they get mixed up. Um, sometimes people like to swap them. They don't have a first edition dust jacket, but put it on their first edition book. Um... Now one interesting thing about this is that it has black boards. Now that usually leads you to believe that it's a book club edition, but in this case it's not. This book has black boards and it's quarter bound in black cloth. If everything else applies to it that I'm about to tell you, then it's most likely a first edition, or it is a first edition. Um, now the first thing you'll want to look for is a little indentation on the front or back part of the board. If there isn't, then you're in pretty good shape. Uh, Publishers will usually put an indentation to indicate a book club edition. Um, there's no logos or indentations on the front, um, design indentations on the front. But in the spine, indented is Stephen King, just after sunset, and the publisher's logo in gold lettering. Um, there's white paste downs in the front and back. The book is, or the last numbered page, rather, is... Uh, 367 um, so we'll open this up and the first page is the publisher's page then the title page which just says Stephen King just after sunset Scribner then um, all the places where it was first published um, then we have the copyright page it should say Scribner division of Simon and Chester 1230 Avenue of the Americas, New York, New York. Um, zip code 120 or 10020. Um, then it should say this book is a work of fiction, yada, yada, yada. Copyright 2008 by Stephen King. That's important. Um, all rights reserved, blah, blah, blah. Once again, it should reprint the address of uh, Simon and Chester or Scribner. Um, first Scribner hardcover edition, November 2008. That is important as well. 
Um, designed by Erich Hobbing. Um, this book was designed by him, so if you have another edition, it most likely wasn't designed by him. The most important thing on this page, other than manufactured in the United States of America, is this little code right here. 1357910 Um That basically indicates the print. Um, this would be a first print because it has all the numbers 1 through 10. Um, now some book club editions also have a number line, but um, they're a lot smaller than a regular sized book, which I'll get to in just a moment. Once again, reprints the ISBN. Then we get to the dedication page for Heidi Pittler. And uh, that's basically all you need to know. Except for this book actually has a table of contents, which most books by Stephen King don't have. That's be their short stories in here. Now the size of your book. Um, you should measure your book very carefully. Um, um, in centimeters, preferably. Um, it should measure 24.1 centimeters tall. This is important because I find most book club editions are exactly 24 centimeters tall. However, uh, first edition are 24.1 centimeters tall. I could be paranoid, but that's what I found. Um, it's 16 centimeters wide, and it's 5.1 centimeters thick. Um, can't always go on thickness because sometimes the binding's a bit loose and the thickness is different, but uh, height and width should uh, always be the same. Um, if you if you're an inches guy, um, roughly six and three eighths of an inch wide, um, nine and a half inches tall, and one and three eighths of an inch thick. Um, now, if all these things apply to your book, then it is a first edition, which means that there's one you have one copy out of about nine hundred thousand produced. Um, the value of your book is about $15 to $20, um, though you can find them cheaper if you want to buy a first edition. I bought this one for about $6, that's why it's in okay condition. Um, now, not to be confused, there are some U.S. limited editions. The front of the dust jacket it is orange with black lettering, and the back is black with orange lettering. And on the top part of the dust jacket, it will say uh, limited edition. And it includes the CD version of his short story, In. Um, there is also a UK limited edition, but it uh, doesn't look anything like this one. It has red blood cells on the front of the cover of the book. So uh, if you do have the US limited, uh, it's worth about $50, which is pretty nice. Um, but I don't have that with me right now, so I can't show you an example. When I get it, I will show you. Thanks for watching a Bibliophile Productions, and have a great day.